though. They lead Werribee Central's 1 for 10. And uh, we'll get some quarter time scores from the AFL and from other GDFL games shortly with Eric. But uh, umpire Smith has the footy in hand now. And as we said, 15 points the difference at quarter time. Cry, Jason to the side of the open their forward line right up. There's uh, got plenty of room, plenty of space to run into, and they're going to be very, very dangerous this quarter, I'd say. So, start of the second term, brought to us by Raiders Bingo this afternoon. And it will be umpire Smith to throw the ball near Boyle. Standing start, Smith gets it down. Straight off the half forward flank, Calvert again, who's probably been where he's best. Goes towards centre half forward. Musara's there, handball to Kinnear. Has to go back on the right. Goes with the right hand handball. And uh, then he puts his teammate under pressure in Chris Smith. It's at half forward. Off hands, Kinnear can't get an effective uh, handball away. Goes back and Mary takes the mark in front of Johnny Cousins. Still inside the centre square. On the attacking side for the Centurions. He goes low and goes towards Buck, who taps it away from the back. Foley, fresh air shot. Walton on hands and knees. Handball to Bigham. That was uh, Ricky. He goes to Ricky O'Toole. Handball to nobody in particular. Chris Smith standing start. Goes to the right boot. Off one step. In towards uh, Calvert and the goals. Cold. And Chris Smith has... Oh, hope he's cold. ...kicked the goal. Or else I think uh, Simon Calvert might get a uh, push in the back. But it's a goal anyway. To Chris Smith. Good start for the Centurions. What they needed kicking into the breeze in this second term. They go to 2 4 16 and uh, they trail Karai 4 1 25. Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard, one minute play. The only thing Laurie Karai need to be careful of, the wind doesn't do it all. You still got to win the footy? That's right, Eric, and I was just thinking I might make a good coach one day. So I told you Chris Smith <laughs> will be the big answer. Quarter the time in the AFL, thanks, Eric. God, Sorry, Laurie, you're Jason. unbelievable. <laughs> Richmond 2 4, Western Bulldogs 4 straight, Carlton 4 5, Hawthorne 4 2, and so far in the uh, GDFL. Anicky 1-4, Bannockburn 3-2, and Thompson 4-4, four, four, East Geelong 2-1. Back in the middle, Boyle and Smith again. Smith, the last goal scorer, gets it down to Calvert. It's a repeat performance of the first bounce down. He goes with his left boot towards half forward. Cook leads in the race of the ball. Bigham comes at him. That's Davey. Cook keeps it in front. Doesn't get a timely bounce. Got Kinnear in support. Oh, Davey Bigham Good does pay. well, but then kicks it out of bounds on the full, does he? Yes, I think so. Well, we'll find yes. yes. There we go. And I reckon the uh, chairman of selected somewhere if he wanted to just slip $5 into the... Uh, Band drum pie's pocket there to make sure he knew it was out of bounds on the full. Well, it was pretty hard to see who actually kicked it, I think. <laughs> so they helped him. So Cook's got it at half forward. He waits. He goes now with the right boot and kicks it back into the corridor. Howlett is there. Oh. Had his name written on it. And takes the mark at centre half forward. 45 metres out. Johnny Cousins tells him all about it. Andrew Howlett probably turns around chasing the footy. Directly in front, the coach of the Werribee Central side. Two in a couple of minutes would be the, just the start he would want. Crucial kick. Kicks into the breeze and has pushed it across. In fact, I think he's pushed it a long way across, has he? Yes, he has. It's out of bounds on the full. And Cullen plays on from the left back pocket for Cryer. Goes long looking for Boyle and O'Toole. They go up, had pushed to, out. Had to be Ricky O'Toole's kick, surely. Yep, for a push out. Yeah, Foley ran straight yeah. at him. <laughs> so O'Toole at half back. Goes with the right boot, great delivery. Ricky Lazarick right on the chest. Oh, took him in front of his face in, in the end on centre wing. Great kick by the coach. He gets it to Lazarick, who goes with the right boot long towards Mark O'Toole and Lyons. Calvin Keating. It does well, O'Toole, to push Lyons away. Shark, he's pretty good in this situation. Handball to Lee Clifford. He can settle and kick the goal, and he's missed. Has he? No, he's got it. Good play and good kick. Lee Clifford, his second. Great movement of the ball from the back line. And... Cryo have their fifth goal. 5-1-31, the Devils. They lead the Centurions. 2-4-16, three minutes played in the second turf. Jace, Jace, it was it was a through. shocking kick. It didn't look as if it went through, did it, from here? Not. It looked like he panicked and rushed it. Hey, uh, did he kick the goal? He kicked the goal. Okay. Thank you. So the ball now back with uh, Umpire Smith in the centre here at uh, Galvin Park. And we're ready to do it again. Boyle doing the ruck work. Uh, Smith it is for... Uh, Werribee Central gets it down, only as far as Ricky O'Toole follows up. Kelvin Keating in to help him. Handball, well, it was well obstructed there by uh, Andrew Hell. A kick off the ground, finds Kelvin at centre-half forward. He goes right across the ground. The lead is there from... Uh, can't pick... Uh, oh, it's Heath Buck, it is. It's led uh, to the far pocket and taken a lovely chest mark, falling to the ground. And uh, Heath Buck, it is. 35 metres out, fairly acute angle. Into the breeze. We'll stretch him there, I think. It'll be a very good kick, Laurie, from there, I'd reckon, to uh, to get a goal. However, this this guy can kick goals. Welsh's uncle. <laughs> Heath Buck moves in. Oh, lovely-looking kick off the boot. Gee, the wind has drifted it right across, and, in fact, they've given it a behind. I wasn't too sure what the goal umpire was going to do there. So, a behind on the 
Right, it's Bingo Scoreboard, Werribee Central's 2-5-17. They trail Corio 5-1-31. We've been playing four and a half minutes now in the second quarter. Dabrowski to kick in from fullback for the Devils. Goes short to the back pocket. Finds his teammate in Davy Bigham. He goes to the right boot longer towards centre wing. Chris Smith goes up and takes the mark unattended. Handball quickly away towards uh, Kennedy. Gets a right foot tumbling punt towards half forward. Davy Bigham there. Handball back towards Dabrowski. Gives him a shepherd. Gives him a bit of time. His kick's partly smothered. Bigham follows it up though. Does well. The youngster goes towards the boundary line. Needs some support. Pretty close there. The umpire says play on the call. Now it's out. And it will be a boundary throw in. And we have a score from uh, North Geelong and Geelong West. The Magpies 4-6-30. They lead the Cheetahs 1-1-7 at Osmond Park. So the Magpies in control there. Boundary throw in here at Galvin Park. And big punch away from the ruck contest, but it's all Carayo. Goes through the legs of Cockrell. King's there as well. Kick off the ground. Goes back towards Dabrowski. Does well. Blind turn. Goes on the left boot. Back towards centre wing. Foot race now. Getting across there. Smith and also Peter Gray. He taps it forward to nobody in particular, though. Johnny Cousins gets across there with Misara. And the two number 11s see it over the boundary line for a throw in between wing and half foot <laughs> on the outer side. Both players point at the other's foot in the boundary. I said, said, I'll throw it in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so a boundary throw in. Phil Boyle across there with Smith. Has to make a bit of ground. Smith gets it down two. Only as far as Ricky O'Toole. Goes uh, left, right, and then back on the right. Goes back towards Cockrell. Calvert goes up against him. Oh, oh great pick up by Dawling on the left foot. On the left uh, boot goes towards Heath Buck and he takes the mark. Plays on quickly. Goes in towards uh, Cook. Oh, he hasn't measured the pass though. Matty King's back there and he can take it away easily. Goes with the right boot, measures the pass towards Misara. Gets a push in the back from Charles. No free kick out of bounds. And it will be a throw in at half forward on the outer side for Werribee Centrals. Well, Werribee sort of squandering an odd chance here, Laurie. Well, I think, uh, I think Heath Shubert Buck should probably have a kick there, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, from the throw in comes to Ricky O'Toole. Handball to uh, Cockrell. Cockrell finds Cullen that is in the centre of the ground. Handball over the top to Bingham. Oh, he's turned back into real trouble, but he, uh, he's got some support there from his teammates. And uh, the handball goes to uh, to foot. Now centre-half forward for Karaya. Running onto the footy there is uh, Gundry. Oh, he's easily run down. And, well, well Karaya... It's penalised it's aside, surely. No, it's a going against them for holding the ball, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so... Uh, Gundry there, penalised. The free kick goes uh, against him. And it's gone to, is that the nice. Lions on half-back? And he's found Chris Smith for the Werribee side. Handball across to Roland Beck. Beck a little chip pass as well. He tried to find Morley, but uh, chipping in there was Bingham. Handball, and away go Karai again. Cousins has the ball over to uh, Charles. And, uh, oh. well, Charles really... Uh, play yeah. on, Tatey. Yeah. yeah, surely he can, uh, he play, can on. play on. <laughs> the, the free kick down the ground in fact Tate took the mark anyway in the goal square, played on, kicked the goal but the umpire isn't allowing it So, and it was a, a comedy of errors I suppose on the, the part of the Werribee defence there Carrillo had a run on a couple of nice little handballs and uh, they got the ball from one end of the ground lorry to the other very very quickly very quickly Eric, yeah Look, they've got plenty of space down there when they run they look dangerous so Justin Tate now, he's 15 metres out quite an acute angle on the wrong side for a left footer but he's gone bang, straight over the goal umpire's head and uh, has kicked his first goal for the day and, in fact, the sixth for the Corio side. Corio now 6-1-37. Lead Werribee Central's 2-5-17 on the road. It's been go scoreboard and we've been playing eight minutes now in the second quarter. Uh, yeah, his first goal for his new club and, and, and he's going to be in a handy acquisition, I think, to Corio. He's, uh, he's, do, he's doing enough around there to Especially suggest... Especially hovering around the forward that's line. That's right, exactly right. Annie would have liked to have that bonus last oh, year, wouldn't they? Just oh. Tony running around there. Gee. <laughs> so I just see before there, uh, Dave Mary was uh, trying to tag um, Johnny Cousins and uh, probably just kept him quiet a little bit, but uh, he's moved on him. But he's got to be a little bit closer than he is at the moment. Five metres is too much for Johnny. Back in the middle now. And it'll be Chris Smith up against Phil Boyle. They go up. Boyle gets it down over the head of Mary on that occasion. Coming off the wing of Johnny Cousins, punched it on. Luddick getting back there. Grabs it, Tate tackles him. He gets a handball away, though, towards Smith. That's Chris Smith. Can't take it with him. Coming through the middle, Cullen does well. Boyle, Cullen on hands and knees as well. Held it up there, Matty Cullen. Good work. And we'll have another ball up in the middle of the ground. It looks a bit like Foley perhaps trying to uh, tag Ricky O'Toole as well, Laurie. Yeah, so it'll be a big job. Boyle gets it down again from the ruck contest through the middle. They uh, couldn't get it free. Cook, that was for Werribee. Cousins in there fighting hard as well. Now out of uh, midair goes towards Cockrell, who takes the mark. And on left centre wing goes towards Cullen. 
Cullen takes the ball, gets it towards Charles. He's ripped off the footy, goes back towards Boyle. Great pick up the big man, does well inside the centre square. Great, Great kick to O'Toole, and Mark O'Toole takes the mark. And uh, he's well, got Doyle's got a pretty good job there too. I think, uh, Every chance to kick this, I reckon. So, uh, Mark O'Toole, first clear chance for a set shot at goal this afternoon. He'll be uh, kicking from 40 metres out, 45 degree angle. Won't have any trouble with the distance. And he's usually a fairly accurate kick. Mark O'Toole, got um, some pretty good skills. So, he comes in now, Mark O'Toole. Well, he's just hooked it a little bit. That wind's taken it a long way in the end. And three for one behind to Mark O'Toole. They go to 6 2 38, the Devils. And the Centurions 2 5 17. I know what you're going to say, Eric. He ran off the line. Which yeah, he did. It, it, exactly right. Well, you two are coaching in a league team. <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> <terrific. laughs> so, uh, It showed up in the, in the final analysis. From the kick in, it's gone wide to half back flank. Clifford comes through the pack, almost took the ball with him. It's come to ground, and uh, Werribee, well, they're really desperate in defence here, but. Uh, Oh, brilliant speed by Ricky O'Toole. Handball across to Cullen. Cullen to the goal square. It's fallen into the arms of uh, Ricky Lash. Rick, Ricky has it. tried <laughs> desperately to get his foot to the ball. The goal umpire it. said he has. So Ricky Lazarick gets his first goal. And, uh, well, I guess that was a little lucky, but it is the seventh goal to Carrillo. 7-2-44. They lead Werribee Central's 2-5-17. That's on the Raiders bingo scoreboard. We've been now playing 11 minutes into the second quarter. I'll lucky goal. I'll tell you what, he's not going to get a game for Manchester United, are <laughs> <Harry> either? <laughs> it just didn't look too good. It doesn't, it, it doesn't matter how you get it. He'd be happy, he was happy when he put, um, put his hands up. <laughs> so, back in the middle. Chris Mislif, his work rate for Werribee, Eric. This quarter. Boyle and Chris Smith. Back in the middle, Smith goes up, gets it down, off hands from Foley. Goes, uh, he follows it up again, got Nick Smith in support, handball over the top to a standing Foley. start. Foley again followed up and running, and he should uh, nearly kick a goal, and he, he has. has kicked the goal. That's a quick reply. That's what they need from Warren Foley, his first goal, and a quick reply for the Centurions. They go to 3 5 23, and Cryo 7 2 44. Raiders Bingo, second quarter scoreboard, 12 minutes played. They need to do la that, Laurie, to, to really keep in the game, don't they? Yeah, certainly, Eric. And uh, you know, Jason just said it was pleasing for, uh, to see Warren Foley uh, do that. He, he kept moving. The ball eventually got to him, and he was able to finish it off. That's what he did last year and a little bit before. Last year, I thought he wasn't doing that. Today, yeah. th that was good play. It's good to see the kid, because he can play football, this little fella, and uh, that'll do him a lot of good. Just been a change to see uh, good coming back. No, in fact, it's uh, Roger Sick coming on for the first time for Werribee. In the centre, it is again, Chris Smith gets a tap down, but gee, uh, at the drop of the ball, Carrillo doing very, very well in the middle there, and uh, they bottle it up at centre-half back now, and the umpire will have to come in and uh, put the ball in the air, because there's about 12 players on the ground, and uh, it was uh, no way it was going anywhere at all. So, umpire Wheelerhand with the footy, puts it up now at centre-half back, well, Boyle probably got the tap down off the ground. It eventually came to Charles of Carrillo. Kicks it. A bounce, bounce, bounce. It's in half forward. Almost a free kick to the Carrillo side. Oh, good work. Johnny Cousins gets the ball out to uh, O'Toole in Mark. He can't quite pick it up. Finally coming through. It's Tate again. On the left foot goes bang. And I'll tell this you what, one. if that's a goal, that is a magnificent goal for the Carrillo side. Certainly yep. is. So uh, Justin Tate kicks his second in three minutes. And the eighth for the Carrillo side. And, uh, well, if this continues, they're certainly going to uh, go into half-time in a very comfortable position. Corral, 8-2-50. Lead, Werribee Central's 3-5-23. Raiders bingo scoreboard, 13 minutes, second quarter. Yes, Eric, when that ball hit the ground, then they were the little terriers, weren't they? They, they? Johnny Cousins flew in there, and they all sort of moved pretty quick. They showed their uh, their pace there, and I think that's the thing that's going to worry Werribee. Jeez, you can see why Marco Till gets a bit frustrated though once in a while, don't you? I mean, he got absolutely hammered there, pushed yeah. off the ball, and he gets no protection. <laughs> Because of uh, well, his so-called reputation, I suppose, in, in, on occasions. That but was just I, ridiculous. I think a couple of the forwards today, with great respect, Jase, haven't been looked after by the umpire. No, they're in front. Yep. And uh, I, I think if you're in front, you deserve you to get some sort yep. of a chance. Exactly. Back in the middle. It's Smith up against uh, Boyle. Goes up now. Smith gets it down to brother Nick. And Nick goes away with the right boot. Out to a vacant half-forward flank. Foley runs onto it. And also getting it away, Cockrell. Gets it back. Now Taylor getting across there for Werribee Centrals. Can't break free. Handball falls in the arms of Gundry. He's wrapped up at half back for the Devils. The umpire says play on. Cockrell tries to break free. Ball held to him as well. And it will be a uh, ball up at half forward. One for thing you'd Werribee. worry admire from both sides, the tackling skills, some of the lesser seen skills. Gee, they're, they're 
really being no, showcased really good. today. Yeah, really good, Eric. And uh, where his tackling skills are a lot better this quarter than it was in the first quarter. And uh, that's an indication when you go into the breeze, of course. And uh, they work very hard this quarter. From the ruck contest at half forward, coming through the middle, oh, Ricky O'Toole just breaks through a path, goes short towards Clifford. And it's out of bounds on the full, so it will be a free kick to... He was so determined to ace at the footy, like the ball yeah. was there, he just went bang and took off very quick. Goes towards Kelvin at half foot, off hands. Walton coming across there, through the middle, Lazarick now. Behind uh, Davey Bigham, Kelvin Keating in there also. Nearly got a high tackle, no free kick still. It's in a half forward for the Centurions. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. It's 8 2 50 Cario, where he'll be 3 5 23. We've been playing 15 minutes in the second term. You might be able to hear a bit of the, the breeze into our headsets here. It is uh, quite windy at Galvin Park now. Going to the end of that. Uh, Cario's kicking the second term. Boyle gets it down to a standing start. Deb uh, Ricky Bigham. He goes towards Cousins. Merry against him off hands. Here they come. Charles sits for him, does it? No, it doesn't the first attempt, but then he might be able to pick up the second. No, he can't, but he keeps it oh, in front of him. And he's got Clifford, and he's got Tate. Tate wants another goal, but Lee Clifford said, I'll go, and I'll kick it, and he does. And he kicks his third. And uh, four to the ball there. They had a num the numbers, the Devils, and they go to 9-2-56, and they lead Werribee Central 3-5-23. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard. Laurie, it's a good sign when you get two or three blokes all lining up to kick a goal. Yeah, look, it's very impressive, Eric. I mean, I mean, it's a skill to be able to run at the ball and keep running. And uh, as I said before, you know, they're, they're obviously fit. They're prepared to run and move down through the lines. And uh, if they're going to do that sort of footy, uh, they're going to be very, very dangerous. And uh, it gives you so many opportunities. Uh, three people could have kicked that goal. Yep. Ball back in the centre. Empire puts it up once again. Boyle, who's uh, proving an able substitute in this quarter for uh, the uh, injured... Chad uh, Rivet. Rivet. And the ball's on centre wing, comes to ground. Coming through strongly as uh, Calvert gets a handball across to uh, Luke Luddick. Kicks the ball high towards half forward flank. Cockrell, the only player that read it and the only player to really be desperate for the footy, takes the chest mark. Goes wide to centre wing. In good position there is Luke Luddick. Can't take the mark. Ball comes to ground in front of our broadcast position. And it's uh, basically thrown across the line there by Nigel Good. He's more than happy to see it out of bounds on true centre wing. A lot of players uh, where the ball's been thrown in now. Chris Smith, uh, he's beaten on that occasion. Ball comes to ground and uh, Cry again probably uh, 20 metres toward their goal. It's out of bounds once again in front of the Cryo interchange box. Up high there is Tate doing the ruck work. Unfortunately, straight into uh, the hands of the opposition in Steve Cook. He goes toward the centre. Handball comes to good. He drives it long towards centre half forward. Gee, the wind's holding that up. The ball's going to drop okay. vertically, but uh, man in front. Well, it's got to be a mark. I would have thought the mark, surely. Heath Buck was the only fellow that got near it, brought it all the way to the ground, and in fact, the umpire has now paid it. He's about 50 metres out, directly in front, looking for somewhere to uh, pass it off. He finds uh, Foley only about 10 metres nearer to the goal, and Warren Foley uh, might even test him, I think, from there. It's uh, going to take a good kick. Kicks it very low into the breeze. The lead out there was from uh, Andrew Howlett. Handballs it back to, over the shoulder to Buck, but oh, he's tackled immediately. Fierce tackling from the Cryer side. Picked up by Nick Smith. Back toward the goal square. Players, uh, Calvin, in fact, he's up, he's down before acceptances. The ball comes to ground and over the boundary line, 10 metres from the behind post. And Laurie, in both quarters, we're seeing both sides defend very, very solidly uh, up there into the breeze. Yes, they're working very hard up there, Eric, and uh, look, it's probably not easy out there to, uh, to play footy today, and uh, the, you, you're right, they're working very hard. I thought we probably could have made a bit better uh, job of that, actually, they had the players there. Ball's been forced over the boundary line again. Corio perhaps uh, going five metres uh, out of there defensive area. Boundary umpire about to put the footy back in. Well, probably uh, Andrew Howlett, I was well, going to say, is. may well get a free kick here. He was the man in front. He uh, used his body extremely well. And experience. Oh, yes, yes. And uh, Boyle there, I think, infringed. Don't think there was any doubt about the free kick. And now Andrew Howlett, 20 metres out, very acute angle. On the left foot, moves in. He's tried to use the breeze. It's brought it back a little too late, I think. Yep. So... Uh, Yes, the umpire has indicated one behind. So Andrew Howlett kicks his second for the day. Werribee Central's sixth. Three goals, 6.24. They trail Corio 9, 2.56 on the Raiders Bingo scoreboard. We've been playing 19 minutes second quarter. Dabrowski kicks it in and uh, 
They push it forward towards Lazaric at centre wing. Couldn't take the mark off hands now. Coming through the middle, Cousins. Handball to Lazaric standing there. Plots to uh, tap it on. He does so. Kelbert up. Gets it down towards his teammate, Musara. He taps it on to Nick Smith. Nick Smith bullocks his way through and runs. Goes and backs himself with a right boot. Goes towards the leader. But great kick, great mark. And I think they need a bit more of that from Nick Smith. Just that bullocking run that he does, and he loves it. And he hit Heath Buck right in the middle of his uh, hands right in front of his face and he took the mark and will be shooting for goal from about the same position that Andrew Howlett was uh, 30 seconds ago but he's a right footer but he's a right footer it might make a bit of difference Laurie's going to back him in here then Laurie's backed him in to kick the goal they need it he's they trail at the moment by 32 points he's doing everything right Heath Bark no, I think he's kicked it no <laughs> the wind's got it well, I'll tell you what the wind's got it a long time one point Heath Bark so they go to 3.725 now, the Centurions. And the Devils, 9.256 on the Raiders Bingo. Second quarter scoreboard, 20 minutes played in the second term. Cockrell to kick in. Short little kick towards Ricky O'Toole. Handball over the top to uh, Cockrell. I think they might have done that once or twice at training. Goes with a right boot long towards the uh, middle of the ground. Tate got a hand to it. Off hands now, Clifford going towards centre-half forward. Still only had one kick and it's at centre-half forward for the Devils. That's how strong the wind is. Lazaric does well, breaks free. Gets it to Gundry, off a couple of steps. He goes towards 4-4 Barrio tool. Shepherds and says, there you go, Troy, have a goal. And he will. And that is his first and the tenth for Carayo. And they get a 10-2-62. They lead Werribee 3-7-25 on the Raiders Bingo second quarter scoreboard. 21 minutes played. He probably impressed me as a defender last year, Gundry. Played yeah, most of his foot in the back good. half. and. Uh, I was just uh, sort of noticing their pattern of play, Eric. They uh, not frighten the short pass in the back line and uh, get the loose man going out of there. And uh, it's something that uh, obviously Ricky's uh, worked on, I would say, and uh, it's, it's working very, very effectively. One it's, of the key components in the initial kicking out was Dabrowski. Yeah, exactly. Back in the middle, Cousins cool. from the ruck contest. Wheels around on the right boot and gets it wide towards Cal Keating. Might sit for Cal. It's out here on centre wing, now on half forward. Turns it around towards uh, Beck and also O'Toole. Barry sits behind. Baz is pretty good in this situation, but Luddick got him and dropped the ball. Oh, come on, umpire. Play on the call. Beck gets rid of the ball towards Calvert at centre wing. Also running back there is uh, Cook. They run into each other. Should be able to give a shepherd for him now. He does. Calvert slips over there at the crucial stage. Got one high. No free kick, and the umpire says it's mine. Well, how the umpire didn't pay holding the ball against Barry O'Toole, I'll... Yes, anyway... I don't know how good the memory is. Do you remember Keating? I thought threw his boots away after the grand, after that preliminary final last year, never to play again. He's he got playing a new really pair. well today. He got a new pair. He's been out of sports power. Don't worry about that. Coming through, O'Toole, Musara, and the boundary line. The boundary line wins on centre wing, and it will be a boundary throw in. Some of the one-on-ones are very good, Laurie, aren't they? Yeah, very good. Some very fierce contests. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, they, they just seem to have this uh, pace factor, Cry. You just spoke Keating, good runner. Uh, uh, Charles, he's, he's given a little bit of pace as well, and, uh, you know, it's certainly showing up. Tate oh, good from the back. Gets it down. Cousins see? ran through beautifully. Luddick, though, oh, Cousins does well. Got a free no. kick. Put his body on the line and got the free Great kick and half forward. But if that was a free kick, so yeah, that was the way, yeah. Cousins now, right boot, great kick for distance, goes towards O'Toole, goes up, can't take the mark, that was Mark O'Toole, off hands, Clifford's there, pretty close to the boundary line, and it is out in the right forward pocket for the Devils, been playing 23 minutes in the second term, they lead 10-2-62, where it'll be 3-7-25. It's only Cousins, his pace is explosive, Laurie, isn't oh, it? Oh yes, he looks so standing still, the other guy, isn't he? <laughs> Ball thrown in, Clifford can't take it, follows up though, push forward, play on to the umpire, comes to a Nick Smith, handball across to Luddick. Luddick uh, dummies the handball, goes for the kick, it's short, and uh, here's Andrew Howlett, marks in front of our score, our uh, broadcast position on through centre wing, so he's a long way from centre-half forward, and when he looks up, he's only got about one player to kick to, he's tried to do that, but uh, Walton comes over the back of the pack with a huge punch and uh, 25 metres to the boundary, out of bounds, and... Uh, Werribee, in an effort to get something going, Laurie, they've really pushed up the ground and they've yeah, got look, uh, nobody up forward. I just saw uh, Andrew just indicate, you know, where's the runners, who's prepared to run up the ground, and they're just not doing it at the moment. From the throw in, it's coming to the arms here of Ricky O'Toole. Ball comes over the pack, comes to ground in the centre. Here oh, go. here's a Keating handball across to Clifford. Tries to just chip it along the ground, but he can't quite uh, make contact. Uh -oh, and it's that's got to be added. Beck it's got to be delivered. Uh, kicked it out of bounds on the fall. Fairly deliberate, I thought. But uh, unfortunate because it landed six inches over the line and uh, Lazaric gets the free kick for the cross. Oh. oh, up high there was, uh, was that O'Toole mark. mark. And uh, unfortunately can't take the footy 
and it's kicked off the ground right across the face of goal to the far side Foley picks it up Tate can't uh, get the tackle on him and Foley just uh, saunters away has one bounce now has to handball finds his teammate there in Dawling Dawling over the top to uh, Calvert Calvert long to half forward well over the top there of Taylor's head unfortunately and uh, the bounce is not kind but comes back to Chris Smith Chris Smith off one step hooks it over his shoulder and just out of bounds on the full just to the right of the uh, the scoring area and uh, probably the best move of the day for, for Werribee on that occasion. Yeah, it was a very good build up, Eric. Uh, they probably deserve better than that, but uh, it, it indicates they're prepared to run then. And, uh, you know, it probably backs up what Henry just said, you know, just be prepared to run with it. Dabrowski from the back pocket. Kicks with the right boot towards half back. Good kick for distance. They all line up. Or oh, a couple of high flyers. No mark taken off hands. Goes to the front of the pack. Calvert gets crunched as he gets his uh, kick away. Bark and Howlett. Howlett takes the mark. And still kicking from 40 metres out directly in front. So he can get the footy to him, Laurie. I think he's a headache for the Corrida defence. Yeah, I think so. I mean, they, they've indicated that in the first quarter. I saw a couple of times when there was four drop back on Andrew Hallett, and uh, yep. that indicates they've got a lot of respect for him. That's a good goal. This time he kicks the goal. Andrew Hallett has kicked it. Yep. So that's his first goal. And uh, a badly noted one for his side. The Centurions go to 4-7-31. They trail the Devils 10-2, 62. Raiders bingo second quarter scoreboard, 25 and a half minutes played. And uh, just over all the ground line, there are signs that, that Corio could really take the game apart. But uh, where are we just every now and again, they just get one to stay in the game. Yeah, no, look, look it's a pleasing sign, Polly. Uh, there's a positive Xander could take out of this quarter, I think, at half time. You know, I mean, they probably blew it in the first quarter, but, uh, you know, they're going to get used of it in the third quarter. And probably, did, uh, if, if they can have the same attitude, can get the margin back a little bit. Boyle gets a tap down in the middle, goes to O'Toole. He can't get clear. Uh, Charles does. Handball over to Ooh. Keating. Keating tackled high. Sure. Oh, yes, umpire has blown the whistle. And it is uh, Craig Keating in the centre of the ground still who has uh, got the free kick for Corio. Kicks long to half forward. He's gone to, well, I don't know who he's gone to because the uh, player leading in the race for the ball was uh, Cook of Werribee. So, but it's uh, eluded him, landed inside the field of play and... Uh, over the boundary line, about 50 metres from the behind post. Johnny Cousins does the ruck work, doesn't touch the footy. Player just got uh, pushed straight off the footy totally. A fairly undisciplined act there, and uh, Gundry has the ball now. 55, 60 metres out, almost on the boundary. Would take a huge kick to score, but he certainly would put it into uh, the area where there's a couple of big fellas up there, and I can just see Clifford up there waiting for... Uh, a fly. It's going in his direction. It's going to land in the goal square. In fact, goal. the players, well, great work there by Clifford and a couple of others for Corio because they've just flattened the pack. The ball has landed in the goal square and Clifford's kicked his fourth goal. So four out of 11. 11 goals, two. 68, Corio. They lead Werribee Central's 4 7 31. Raiders bingo scoreboard, 27 minutes, second quarter. Didn't run off the line then, Laurie. No, no, it was a good. Actually, it was a good kick. It was right where he needed to be. I, th I think even they didn't push the pack over, at least it was, uh, you know, it was give every opportunity there. No, that was a terrific Gr kick. Great kicking on a windy day, 2-11-2. Two, two. Yes, very good. <laughs> They've had 13 scoring shots to 11. But there's a lot probably, Josh, there's probably not quite enough pressure in, mm. in the Werribee defence on, on those players. Fair enough, Laurie? Yeah, I think that's a good comment, Eric, yes. Back in the middle, Boyle, Smith, neither can get an effective tap. Mary taps it on. Coming off the halfback flank, Dabrowski got ripped off the football. Wherever with the numbers, kick by Dawling. Torpedo punt towards half forward, vacant area. Buck coming out, coming across. Gundry's everywhere at the moment. Back there to make sure the defensive uh, w work for Cryo is done. And it will be a boundary throw in half forward for the Centurions on the outer side. We've been playing 28 minutes, pretty close to half time. So it might be crucial for Werribee to try and get one just before the uh, half time siren. Tapped to the side of the pack. And through the middle, Cockrell has had a good first half for Cryo over the head of a number of players. Tate's there also. Back on centre wing, getting there, Lee Clifford. Looking for a handball, decides to wheel back onto the right boot. Poor kick off the boot, but goes towards Keating. Can't take it with him, surrounded by a couple of Centurion players. Follows it up, then a slick handball towards Lyons. Up on centre wing, his handball inboard, sets his teammate up. Can't take it with him. Karai with the numbers again. Getting around on the right boot, kick smothered from Gundry. And the umpire will come in after a pack develops around him. And we'll have a ball up on centre wing on the outer side. That was good defence by Werribee out there. They were in a bit of bother if Cryo broke clear. 
Yeah, as you said there before, Eric, uh, they've, they've certainly lifted their work road uh, right this quarter uh, at Werribee Centre. I mean, they've got to do that, otherwise uh, Werribee or uh, Cry will cut them to pieces. Up in the uh, ball thrown up by the umpire, comes to ground. Ricky O'Toole leads in the race for the footy, but I think he's quite comfortable in allowing it to run over the boundary line. 29 minutes have gone in this second quarter, and they're leading pretty comfortably. 11 to 68, Cryo. 4 7 31, Werribee Central. So in comes the footy. Knocked forward there by Chris Smith. As far as uh, Foley eludes a tackle, gets it on the right foot, yeah. and he's found James Lee, probably first mark for the day, I'd suggest, on half forward flank, and took it well. Drives the ball back into the centre corridor towards the full forward position. Oh, well, I'm going to say uh, extremely good body work on that occasion by, uh, is that? Uh, Calvert. Calvert? Mm. And uh, really helped his opponent uh, to go forward fairly rapidly, and uh, has taken the mark 20 metres out but it'll still take a very good kick. F kick the first of the day, and uh, Simon Calvert now. Close to half time, needs this goal. Lovely looking kick off the boot. The goal umpire's moved across, but Calvert has kicked his second, and the Werribee side have kicked their fifth. 5 7 37. They trail Correo 11 to 68. That's on the Raiders bingo scoreboard, and now ticked over 30 minutes in the second quarter. He looks to have built up a little bit, Laurie, over the summer. He looks a bit bigger than yeah, he Yeah, actu actually, when you called him, I'm thinking, oh, I don't think it is, but <laughs> it, it, it certainly was when he turned around. No, he has filled out a little bit, and that won't do his uh, marking any harm, will it? Oh, no. Yeah. He'll be a better player for it, I think. Back in the middle. 30 and a half minutes gone in the second term. Smith and Boyle. Umpire. I'll throw the ball up now. Smith, short throw up. Smith gets it down. And as far as Clifford, gets a quick kick away back towards Boyle. Handball towards Matty Cullen. And great kick to Mark O'Toole. Handball to Brother Barry. Brother Barry goes on the left, on the right, on Shut the right. Shut the Always oh, missed it, I think. Oh, I think, no. I think the uh, bit of theatrics from the goal umpire has gold. <laughs> <laughs> Barry O'Toole has kicked his second. And a quick reply for the Devils. They go to 12 goals. <laughs> I wish that goal up I wouldn't do that. He's just, just about finishing the box here. <laughs> oh, oh, He'll do, do himself an injury if he keeps moving that quick. 12 to 74. <laughs> Cario, Werribee Central's 5 7 37. On the Raiders, bingo, second quarter score, and there's an awful lot of TV watched at this <laughs> at this stage, I think. <laughs> He's not going to get away with that again, uh, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you. You'd think it's 30 minutes, Laurie, if you're wary of you'd say, well, you know, we've got the last goal of the quarter, and uh, 10 seconds, it took him right out of the middle. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, I mean. Matty Cullen, just the Rolls-Royce in the middle. Oh, isn't he? <laughs> Pretty good kick. Cool. <laughs> well, free kick Kid. found. Uh, Matty Cullen tried to push uh, Rogers again the into the square <laughs> and the umpire picked it out so we have free kick to Chris Smith from the middle goes towards an half forward oh no mark taken by Cook can easy in there also they're fighting for it and in fact it's Foley Foley tries to get a handball out gives it back to Mary then gives it to Roger Zick handball to a standing start good tried to get it away good punch away by Gundry doing that defensive work that uh, Eric said he did last year goes back to the middle Barrio tools there handball or oh, just missed Charles it might have been away then Luddick comes through also Ricky O'Toole leaves it behind Luddick he does leave it behind. Carlin, great right. handball. Barry O'Toole. Barry O'Toole to brother Mark. Can't take it. And oh. Oh, he would have had the mark too and possibly a shot for goal. But it's half time. And at half time, it is Carayo 12 2 74. And they lead Werribee Central's 5 7 37. In that quarter, the Centurions kicked four goals, three. But Carayo kicked uh, eight goals, one with the breeze and at half time. They are 12 2 74. They lead Werribee 5 7 37. The goal kick is to half time for Cryo. Two, two each, oh, in fact, sorry, three goals to Lee Clifford and two each to Justin Tate, Troy Gundry, and Barry O'Toole. Singles to John Cousins, Ricky Lazarick, and to Chad Rivett. While for Werribee, two goals to Simon Kelbert and singles to Chris Smith, Warren Foley, and to Andrew Howlett. But at, uh, it's half time, and it is uh, a pretty big lead to Cryo at the break. 37.12274. They lead Werribee Central's 5 7 37. We'll take a break, then we'll have our Where Are They Now segment. Eric, this afternoon, you're talking to uh, somebody that we know where, who, where he is, but some other people might not know. It's Paul Welsh. Paul Welsh will be on the other side of this break, and then we'll be back with the second half of our match day live coverage on Geelong Radio 100.3 FM between Werribee Central's and Cryer, your home of local football. <laughs> 